yes to. So please help me welcome prophetess Deanna Dixon. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, I'm so excited you're here. So tell people a little bit about yourself who are meeting you for the first time here on television. Okay, well, first of all, I am a servant of the Lord. Yes, I'm calling myself prophetess Deanna Dixon. I do work in the prophetic, but I believe in, especially this time of year, in loving, giving. My motto is loving people back to life. So I many people that. are hurting. So I'm just focusing on being a servant. Yes, I'm a singer, I'm an author, I'm this and that. But in this season, I just want to serve and love on God's people. I love yes. that. And wear great shoes while you're doing it. She has, yes. we don't have a shoe cam right now, but she has <laughs> fabulous red shoes on right now. Um, but I know, sorry. We noticed it. We had our red girl. We got it going. Um, so, you know, you're loving people mm -hmm. back to life, loving people back to life. You know, during this past year, we've seen so many people hurt. And I know that a lot of people, you know, you may be watching, you're like, oh, a prophetess. Like, how is she a prophetess? They prophesied, and she even prophesied before this service. So, <laughs> babe, Jeremy, if you're watching, I got some words after this. <laughs> but, you know, there's something powerful in the Bible. It says that it's better to prophesy. It's one of the best gifts because you hear something from the Lord about yourself. So how did you know that, you, that God had called you to be a servant but through the gift of prophecy? Well, it actually started when I was six years old. Um, my grandmother took me to a lady house. And when I walked in the house, I said, oh, my God, Grandma, this lady's going to die. And I remember her taking me back home, and she actually said, you're a prophet. Well, I didn't understand what that was till like, 27 years yeah. later. And when I heard God say it, and um, it was like, okay. I'm working for God. And at first, it's so exciting. As a matter of fact, with any calling, it's so exciting. I'm going to run for the Lord. Until you understand what the maturity is mm. Mm, and having that relationship. Right. And so that's the part where you grow and you start to know and show the love of God, mm. the level of maturity and understanding just like they just said, oh, I love them. The people that you just had. Um, I Pastor forgot their Danny names. And yes, yes, Danny. yes. Everything that they said about the longevity, the faithfulness, that's what it takes. It doesn't matter what your title is. It's about the love in your heart. And do you right. really have the character of Jesus Christ? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's so powerful. You know, I think that um, we got read on for love. Mm -hmm. You know, we that was Jesus's command. Love him. Yes. Uh, and love one another. Love yes. God and love one another. And, you know, in today's society, we see so many people struggling to be loved and to love others. What do you think, what do you feel that people need to hear in this day and age? What word? I really feel that we need to hear, I love you more, mm -hmm. um, especially as a church. There was something that they picked up that I've been picked up in the spirit as well. In this season, God is saying, love each other back to life, but also bring each other back to the community and also go back to church. Right. We have to develop a relationship, not just with God, but with each other. That yeah. unity brings power. COVID and all this other stuff actually kind of like did a ripple effect in the friendship part, in the faithfulness, right. and also the love. So now God is saying, I need you back together. I need you to trust each other. I need you to pray for each other. I need you to be there for each other. Mm -hmm. We are the only group, Christians, that sometimes leave each other wounded. In this hour, we have to be like the army of God for real. And that is, whatever you're going through, I got you, sis. Yeah. I can pray for you. And I don't have to know everything. I can right. just walk by faith and not by sight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I love that. Yeah, I love that. Walking by faith and not by side. You don't have to know everything. I love that. I feel like so often when we see people going through a tough situation, maybe you're going through a tough situation or you know somebody going through a tough situation, we feel like we need to know what to say to fix mm -hmm. the problem. You know, I don't know what to do. But sometimes people just need a hug. That's yes, it. I'm saying hug yes. in the age of yes. social distancing. <laughs> or they need that prayer or they just need your presence. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of times this in this Christmas season, his presence and our presence presence yes. is the greatest present is yes. to being together. And, and it really was during that COVID time, things got ripped away. Um, but people have to get back into that routine of needing people. What would you say? You know, I, I saw in your story, mm -hmm. you overcame a lot. You overcame cancer. Yes. You overcame a divorce. But you know what? You didn't do that by yourself. No, you did that with no. community. How important there are some people watching tonight. Throughout this year, or they've lost a loved one, mm 
They've lost a marriage. They've lost a child. They've lost uh, their stableness. They've lost their love. For, they, they feel hardened in their heart. What would so, you say to those watching tonight? That's what the enemy tries to do. Mm -hmm. He tries to harden your heart because he knows the greatest gift is love. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's okay to be anointed and appointed, but he says, if you don't have love, do you have nothing? Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? You have to fall down on your knees and ask God, God, come into my heart yeah. and, and just take away that stoniness. Mm -hmm. Take away that hardness and understand that everyone goes through things. But God will help you through it. Yeah. Because what we didn't talk about is the four deaths that I had. My dad, his two brothers, my aunt. It has just been a year. Mm. And at one point, I was like, God, you know, I love you so much. And I serve you and I obey you and this and that. Because we can start putting checks on what we do, what we do, God, that we're not yeah. supposed to go through this. And I remember him saying, but my son. Come on, somebody. When he was in the Garden yeah. of Gethsemane, this is what he said. He said, Father, if this cup could pass from me, but... Nevertheless, your will yeah. be done. Amen. And that's what we have to say. God, mm -hmm. I don't like what's happening. I don't understand it. But your will be done. Give me the strength. Give me the faith. The enemy is after our faith in this season. Yes. By our, God is allowing hard things. But this is not to destroy mm -hmm. you, he says. This is to strengthen you. Come right. on, somebody. This mm -hmm. is to strengthen you. Yeah. So you can really be who we've called you to mm -hmm. be. We don't even know who we are yet until we get to that so pivotal powerful. point. Come on, somebody. Pain will make you pray. Yeah. And prayer will make you powerful. Say it again. Come on. I say pain will make you pray. Sorry. That made no <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That was Go good. That was good. That was good. Pain will make you pray. And prayer will make you powerful. Mm -hmm. Because all through the Bible, did anyone ever notice that he went aside and prayed 40 days, 40 nights? Right. Jesus did that as an as example for us to live by. Right. So I truly believe that prayer is the most important thing in your life. It's going to strengthen you mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, yeah. and it'll give you instructions on what to do. Right. A lot of people are looking at, and I'm not knocking motivational speakers and coaches of mm -hmm. the, that nature of things of that but we have to come to where we hear God again. There it is. COVID and all this stuff have kind of drowned the voice of God. So yeah. now we need to kind of like, you know what? I'm going to spend time with God and I'm going to hear his instructions and I'm going to do just what he's saying in right. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We have to clear out the noise. And I, I love the statement I heard a mentor say one time, prayer isn't what we do to get to the main thing. Prayer is the main thing. Yes. And we're walking around lost when all we have to do is reach out for direction. Reach That's out for it. direction. I feel like there are some people watching tonight and, and they're thinking, you know what, Prophetess Deanna, it, it, it sounds good. And I feel like, you know, my faith has been tested, praying in pain. How do you start? How do you start? You're going through pain. You're mad at God. I mean, if you're being real, if you've never been mad at God and you're a Christian, <laughs> you really are not in a good relationship with him because you got to get mad sometimes because you just don't understand what's going on. So what would you say to those tonight? They don't know where to begin. Well, this is something I live by. I practice. Mm -hmm. um, we actually just start a 21 day Daniel fast. I should be like probably a size three because I'm always fasting. I realized something in Sacramento, California. If you don't fast, you won't last. Now, hold on. A lot of people say, well, wait a minute. I don't know how to fast. Start small. Start from like seven to 12 eight to 12, and then pray while you're doing that. You will get so much strength. Now I, I did a, um, a study on why Jesus fast. It wasn't just as an example. It made him strong. Yeah. It made him strong to where he could understand what was going on in the spirit. He said, I only do what I hear my father say. The Bible says that those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. So when you're fasting, your spirit is getting the truth. Right. And that makes it powerful. Come yes. on, somebody. That's so powerful. That's, you know, I feel like that so many people, they don't want to, I love what you're saying tonight because, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to talk about prayer. They want to talk about a quick fix. And like <laughs> you said, motivational self-help. And, you know, a few years ago, I was like, no, I don't believe in self-help. I can't help myself. Mm -hmm. God can guide me on how to help myself, but I can't help myself. And so we have to learn how to rely on Christ. And we're people who don't want to rely on other people. We're independent. We got our phone. Our phone has the answers. But God has the divine direction. God has the divine direction. What would you say to those watching tonight? You know, I feel like there are some of you watching tonight and you need divine direction. How did you get and still get divine direction? I, I truly just tell God the truth. God, I'm not having a good day. God, mm -hmm. 
I'm not liking that situation over there. Right. And sometimes the people in it, let's be real. <laughs> but you <laughs> say I have to love them. So I talk to God as if he's a friend. Mm -hmm. That's not going to critique me. That's not going right. to down me. But that's going to love me. God will love you back to life. All you have to do is talk to him. And he's not going to throw you away because he says, I'm married to the backslider. But I have proven him. I am 53 years old. I started when I was 27. And to this day, God has never left me down. But I will tell you this. It's not going to be easy. But I promise you this. He said, I'll never leave or forsake you. I'll always be there. Lo, always to the end. Just talk to him. And even if you're not strong enough to do that, pray in your heart, God, send someone. Just like she said, it doesn't have to be a, a, a preacher or a teacher. It might just be a hug or, or just in, in words of um, inspiration, you can do this. You can win. You can live. And that's what people need to hear right now. Right. It's not so much titles. The church needs to get back to just loving each other, first of all. And yes. then go out there yes. and, and love on other people. Right. I think if we just start there, mm -hmm. not critiquing, not judging, just loving. Mm -hmm. And you will see people come back to God. Right. Because something he said, people are dying without God. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one thing that God put on me very heavy. Yeah. He said, they should not be dying without me, with all these churches, with all this media. Mm -hmm. So praise God. That's so powerful. And you know, we get wrapped up in our own world and, you know, and even in the Bible belt, you know, you think, well, everybody knows about Jesus, but they don't. Um, I heard a powerful message from a great pastor here in Georgia, and he talked about how so many people are vaccinated in the church. We're just immune to it. We're good. We, we are going, but God wants you to go deeper. God has a plan for your life. God has a purpose for your yes. life. God doesn't want you to live in addiction. God doesn't want you to live bound up. God wants your marriage to be prosperous. Yes. He wants you to have great yes. children. He wants you to have a great church. And yet, Yes, I believe that the the new normal is a church more full of God's power, more full of love, less judgment because God has a plan and his plan to spread Jesus is through his church. What would you say tonight to pastors who are watching? I feel like tonight, all you pastors who want to give up this end of the year, you better burn that resignation letter. There's some, there's some pastors watching tonight mm -hmm. who are ripping up those resignation letters. What would you say to encourage pastors tonight who are ready to give up post COVID? Okay, I'm going to have to be very transparent like I always Please, sound. that's all we want. To. There are times, as a matter of fact, I just got through crying. I'm just going to tell the truth. The a couple that was before me, are, I'm, I'm sorry, missed, what was their names? Pastor Danny May and Evangelist Hannah. When he Lester. said there's somebody that wants to give up, I've had just the kitchen sink pretty much. The devil just been. And I know that's why, because I'm faithful. But I tell you one thing, God will always send a word, especially mm -hmm. when I need. I was sitting up there trying not to cry. I was like, nope, not talking to me. Yeah, they're talking to you, Girl, Deanna. Church. Love the tears, <laughs> and so bro. I just thank God. Don't give up. You have God have called you for such a time as this. Why do you think the enemy is fighting you so hard? Right. And that's why. But I tell you one thing, you cannot do this in flesh. Just what I was saying. You got to fast mm -hmm. and you got to pray and you got to get on your face and you got to say, God, help me, help me to do this because you gave it to me. And God said, I'll keep you and I'll keep you in perfect peace. There it is right there. Don't let anything steal your peace because once you do that, then the enemy comes and he's a whisperer. So you have to just knock that out and say, no, I will continue. I will continue to do what the Lord have said. Hallelujah. I feel the power yeah. of God, girl. Hallelujah. Yes. No, that's so powerful. And I feel it too. And you know, as you were saying that peace, he came, we're in the season where he came to bring peace. Honor. There it is. There it is. Peace because the other honor. things, COVID and what we're going through in life, daily um, situations, it comes to take your peace. He says, but those, he's, those that keep their mind stayed on me every day. And I know it's hard, right. but just like you eat, just like you got to breathe every day, get in that word. I don't care if it's five or 10 minutes. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. It works. I've been doing it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. It's just like when you get the right nutrients into your body, you feel better. When you get, when you feed your spirit, That's you're going to get stronger. You know, I love Psalm 27. It says, the Lord is my light, my salvation of whom shall, shall I, I fear? fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid? CNN in the stronghold of your life, Fox News. News isn't the stronghold of your life. Your boss isn't the stronghold of your life. Everybody's opinion. It is Christ yes. who is the stronghold of our life. Yes. And he came to bring peace on earth in this season. We just have a few moments. Is there anything else in your heart you want to share with our listeners or the congregation tonight? <laughs> <laughs> just basically don't give up. 
keep God first and walk in forgiveness. That's the thing. Mm. So many people are so angry. You know what? Breathe in, breathe out, and just give it to God. Mm. You have to give that stuff to God. Life is too short to hold on to anything mm. and anybody. Trust God in everything. As a matter of fact, what does he say? Lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. Mm. Praise God. I love that. And I feel like there's something there. Some of you tonight, you're watching, and you just need to forgive. You have anxiety, you have fear, and sickness, forgiveness, yes. unforgiveness will cause sickness in our bones. And some of you, you are one forgiveness away <laughs> from healing, yes. your, from being healed, and from being peaceful and joyful again. So how can people find out about you? Because you're just getting started. We're just getting started. I know I need to. Yes. She was prophesying before. I was writing down notes. I got it right in here. I'm going to keep it to myself and talk to the Lord. So how can people find out and connect with you? And also you have training classes that you do for people who feel called to prophetic ministry. Yes. And actually, not just the prophetic um, to any part of the ministry. I just build them up. I focus on the prophetic, but um, I call them spiritual growth classes because in okay. every area. So you can find me on Prophetess Deanna Dixon on Facebook. Or my website, ApostleDeannaDixon.com. That's A-P-O-S-T-L-E-D-E-A-N-N-A-D-I-X-O-N.com. Thank you so much. Awesome. You have been an incredible guest tonight. What an incredible word, guys. You've got to go to ApostleDeannaDixon.com. Find out more about her. She is incredible. Follow her on social media. You are going to be blessed. You've blessed us tonight. Thank you so much. Go out and be strong in the faith. And let's worship together with...